What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the problem when the flashlight on your iPhone is not working. It's a common issue but can be fixed with a few simple steps. First, ensure you're enabling the flashlight correctly. Swipe down to access your control center and tap on the flashlight toggle. If the light turns on, the issue might have just been a misstep in how you were trying to activate it initially. However, if tapping doesn't work, try pressing and holding the flashlight icon to bring up the brightness control. Here, you can adjust the intensity of the flashlight by dragging the slider up and down. Sometimes, the flashlight might be on, but the ambient light is too bright to notice its effect. Adjusting the brightness can help you confirm if the flashlight is functional. If adjusting the brightness doesn't help, the next step is to restart your iPhone. A simple reboot can fix minor software glitches. To do this, follow the following steps in quick succession. Press the volume up button, then press the volume down button, and then press and hold the power button until the slide to power off screen appears. Drag the slider to the right to power off your iPhone. After your phone shuts down completely, turn it back on by pressing and holding the power button until you see the Apple logo flash back on. Now check if the flashlight works. Another potential solution is to check for any available iOS updates. Outdated software can sometimes cause issues with your device's functionality, including the flashlight. Go to Settings. General, Software Update, and if there's an update available, make sure to download and install it. This can resolve the issue if it's software related. If none of these solutions work, there might be a hardware issue with your iPhone. Before concluding it's a hardware problem, ensure there's no physical damage to the LED flash next to the camera, as this is the same hardware used for your flashlight. If your device is physically intact, but the flashlight still fails to work, it might be time to contact Apple support or visit an Apple store to get professional help. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.